Thank you to Beach Waver for sponsoring today's video. Say hey besties. Good morning everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I thought it'd be fun today to do a little get ready with me. I get a ton of questions on how I get ready with a six month old. And let me tell you, it is effort. I'm booked and busy. Why does it always happen? I'm still gonna do my hair. <laughs> There's like a lot that I wanted to do. Mom life. Ma'am! Is the starting point. Mm -hmm. Let's even get a full fit. Sam makes fun of these shorts all the time. These are my comfy shorts, okay? I don't know why he's hating. A hoodie with some coffee stain on it. That's what happens whenever you try to carry your coffee at the same time you're trying to carry a baby and she likes to spill it on you. Halo is just in her PJ still. And she's just gonna stay in these because she's gonna go down for her morning nap. We're gonna be an iconic duo today. So this is my 10 minute everyday makeup routine. Quick, easy, you come out looking like a hot mom. Minimal effort. I'm gonna show you guys how I curl my hair. So last week I got sent a package from Beach Waver and I'm so freaking happy they sent this to me because it has opened my eyes to the hair world that I belong to, that I just wasn't tapping into. Honestly, I never learned how to use a curling iron. I've always been a wand girly. Every time I would use a traditional hair curling iron, I would get clamp marks like crazy and it would just, it, it never turned out how, you know, it would look at the salon. I'm not kidding though. When I used this last time, I legitimately looked like I came out of the salon. Like that is the type of curls that they are giving. Trust me when I say I had no idea how to curl my hair using one of these before and I learned like that. Oh, actually even insert raw and real footage of my first time using it. I was a little, you know, confused. Beachy, big waves. What am I doing? Carissa, this has to be self-explanatory. What are you doing? Okay, let me, just give me a moment because I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a cake. <laughs> Wait a minute. How does this work? Just, I'm embarrassed. Let me just try to figure out real quick how to do it. Okay, so I definitely got the hang of it now and I wanna show you guys how I use it. It goes up to 410 and then it has these arrows that you press and it curls for you. It is so gorgeous, if you guys can see up close. It is a floral print. It's just giving me bridal vibes. I don't know, it's so pretty. But I love adding dry shampoo, not only to like clean my hair up, but also to just give it that fluffy volume, that va va -voom. Not gonna lie, it is not typically part of my routine to protect my hair and use a heat protectant but that's just a bad habit that we're gonna stop now. Especially being postpartum, this hair is definitely in need of more care. Oh my gosh. It's like cotton candy meets juicy fruit, meets vanilla, meets a tropical beach. It's so good. This is what you need to know going into it. On your left side of your face, which we're mirrored, but left side of the face, the clamp needs to face forward. And obviously you wanna curl your curls away from your face. And then on your right side of your face, the clamp needs to face towards your face, facing backwards. And again, curl away from your face. We'll start over on the left side. Again, we want the clamp to be facing away from our face face facing forward. I'm gonna take a section of hair, about that much, and I'm going to take the clamp, roll it down. I wanna leave a little bit of hair out at the bottom. And then again, curl away from your face, so press the arrow. It's gonna literally do all the work for you. Hold it for like maybe seven seconds. And release. <gasps> Like, how perfect of a curl is that? Ah! I'm not gonna touch them. I'm just gonna let them do their thing, repeat the process. Like, I have never seen a more perfect curl. I had to curl on this side. All right, and I'm leaving the curls be. And if you think that this looks good, like you're not even ready for what it looks like at the end. I do the hair flip, oh, you're not even ready. All right, again, let's spray. Okay, so now we're doing the right side of the face. 
This time, like I said, the clamp is going to be facing your face, facing backwards. And you just do the same thing as you did on the other side. Only difference is the clamp is now in the back. Still want to curl away from the face. Same process. So easy. that makes all the difference. So the hair looks good now, right? Let's fluff it up, beachy volume. This is how you do it. Flip, shake, woo! Just like that, look at this volume. And then brush. I'm gonna spray a little more just because. And we're gonna brush through the hair. <gasps> Like literal hair dreams come true. I woke up like this. You got boogers. Yeah. Mom life. So Halo and I are nighttime shower girlies. So she's already bathed. We need to put a fresh diaper on. We need to brush our hair. We need to blow our nose. And we're gonna cut our nails today too. This little contraption from Amazon is an absolute must have if you are a new mom. My bougie girl does not like to be cold. So we're gonna take our towel warmer. First up, we're gonna do some moisturizing lotion moment. My baby gets a full on massage. And we don't even appreciate it. What the heck? I wish I got a massage every day. Must be nice. She hates me for this. But she got the books. Booger time. And of course, we're gonna have to pick out an outfit for my girl and a bow. Okay. First things first, we gotta change that stipey. Hands up. Good job. She's gonna scream at me for laying her down. Ah! Woohoo! This is gross, I'm sorry. Why does it always happen? Why does it always happen when I put my trust in you and think you can handle 0.2 seconds without a diaper? You break my trust every time. Take a quick commercial break while we sanitize the changing pad. Coffee, of course. So this is my 10 minute everyday makeup routine. Quick, easy. You come out looking like a hot mom. Minimal effort. This one is drugstore brand, L'Oreal, and it has collagen. And does collagen actually work? I don't know. Next up, I do this fun little duo here. Using these two little power duo, Drunk Elephants De Bronzy Drops. Amazing. I like to mix it, a little makeup cocktail, with the NYX Plump Right Back this is a little plumping serum primer. Figured I could answer a couple questions while I'm doing my makeup. The main questions I get asked all the time is what is the best and worst part about becoming a mom? Also gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airspun Spray. I use this before makeup, after makeup, in between. But best and worst part about being a mom. It's like so hard to say that there's a worst part because there really isn't. I would just say the most challenging part is prioritizing yourself after you have a baby. It is 100% doable and so many people think like, oh my gosh, your life ends after you have a baby and that's definitely not the case. But it does become a little bit harder to prioritize yourself and my daughter's awake right now. She's supposed to be sleeping. She didn't even nap for longer than 10 minutes. <laughs> so I find myself giving every ounce of my energy to my daughter, but it's sometimes hard to also prioritize myself, take care of myself, eat healthy, stick to a routine, get ready, like everything like that. I always just, you know, put her needs and everything above mine. And I realized that in order to give her the best possible mom that she can have, I need to be able to pour from a full cup. And if my cup is empty, if my battery is drained, if I'm not doing enough for myself, then I can't be the best mom for her. And I feel like it's way easier said than done. Like if a mom came to me and was telling me that she was completely drained, I'd be like, you need to make time for yourself. But like, 
when I look hindsight at myself, I'm just like, <laughs> take your own advice. Real quick, I'm using the Maybelline's Perfector Wands. These are the four-in-one primer, concealer, highlighter, and BB cream all in one. I'm not kidding. These are my absolute go-tos. These are everything. I have it in a light shade and a dark shade. I use these in replacement of foundation. They go on the skin so beautifully, like you have flawless skin, and it just... It's so much better than foundation. I'm almost out of my light one, so I just picked up a new one. I'm pretty sure they're like maybe $10. I love the applicator. I love everything about them. You need them in your life. They're linked down below. You need them. She's definitely awake, but she's being good, so fingers crossed. I guess she didn't need that much beauty sleep today. So now I'm just bronzing up the face using this guy. Not cakey, goes on so smooth, blends seamlessly. Best part about being a mom, where do I even begin? I genuinely cannot give you one best part about being a mom. It is seriously the best thing I've ever done in my entire life. Like, I feel like it's given me so much more purpose. And she doesn't even realize that she's teaching me so much about myself. Like, obviously, I am her mom. Okay. Hi. Are you awake from your nap? Mommy's doing her makeup, okay? I still gotta do my hair. <laughs> There's like a lot that I wanted to do. We might just have to talk through her babbling. But like I was saying, I'm her mom. I am the one that's going to teach her everything that she needs to know. If that's expected, that's what moms and parents do. But it's crazy how much she has taught me about myself. It's crazy how much more she's made me love myself. Like being a mom is just indescribable. I love so much that God blessed me with a daughter. I love playing dress up with her. I love seeing how she's going to grow. I love seeing her potential. Nothing better than a fresh beauty blender. Okay. Another thing that is amazing about being a parent is like you just have so much to look forward to. I would get in ruts all the time just because if I don't have something to look forward to or something in the future coming up like I, I kind of crave that. And having a baby especially, but a kid in general, you just have so much to constantly look forward to. Milestones that they're gonna hit, experiences that you wanna do with them. I grew up with literally the best childhood ever and I just like cannot wait to give that to Halo. Okay, we really need to get to this makeup. It has already been well past 10 minutes. Let's use this concealer. It's the Incognito by Wet n Wild. I don't know how much she costs, but I'm pretty sure like less than $5. This is an efficient, budget-friendly makeup routine. And I just, I'm obsessed. It's flawless. It does not cake. Quickly gonna set that with, once again, e.l.f. This is Halo Glow Setting Powder. Put a little bit on a brush, and I set that. So comment down below your favorite makeup products. Even if they're bougie, even if they're a little expensive. I wanna treat myself. Ma'am! I'm booked and busy. You're next. This is by NYX. It's the Born to Glow. So I'm going to just put a little bit of dot dot. Okay, another question I'm getting is what is my 10-year plan for my family, myself, and Halo? So 10 years. How old am I? I literally just turned 27. I'll be 37. I can't even fathom that stage in my life. So I think I'll definitely have more kids. But I think our family will be complete by then. As far as school for my kids, I just, I really don't know. The way the world is today is a scary place. I definitely think that kids need the experience of going to school, the social interaction. And some of my best memories growing up was me in school and like hanging out with my neighborhood friends and all that kind of stuff. Okay, hold on. You did not get much beauty sleep. I will let my kids choose to do whatever they want to do hobby-wise, but they're going to do some type of hobby. I want them to be busy, surrounded by good, godly people. I hope that we, living in Arizona by then, hopefully, with my family, maybe have a couple houses, see Sam's family as well. I want Halo to grow up with our cousins, and I definitely want my kids to have a healthy and active lifestyle. Okay, for blush, I've been loving the ColourPop blush sticks. Oh, we are not blended. However, in 10 years, I also hope that I reach some more of my own personal goals. Okay, that's all my cream products. I'm going to spray it again. Using the Kylie's bronzer. This is in the shade, I don't remember. It's like so old that the shade has, you know, rubbed off. Another question I'm getting a ton of is what does Halo eat in a day? Because it does kind of change on the day-to-day. -day. It's not always the same. But the basics of Halo's eating schedule is told you guys getting ready with a six month old is effort we breastfeed and pump in the morning that's when i have my heaviest supply she'll usually have like one bottle of formula in the morning we do a little bit of baby cereal and i mix it with pureed fruits usually for breakfast 
For lunch, we do a pureed vegetable. And after lunch, I give her my pumped milk. And then for dinner, we've been doing either a pureed meat or a pureed fish. We So far, she's tried bison, salmon, beef. Me and Sam have very different ways of eating. I'm pescatarian and he is just straight carnivore. It's so funny because when we met, we were both vegan. I want Halo to try absolutely everything. I don't want her to be picky. Then we supplement with formula for the rest of the night, but I'm working so hard on getting my milk supply back up. Real quick, I'm dusting with that same brush. I put the setting powder back under my eyes to, you know, revamp. For eyebrows, I really don't do much of anything. I just use this brow gel fluff them up a bit I was thinking about getting my brows laminated I feel like that's the move these days wow she's mad I think we're gonna take a little quick break and be right back so halo just fell back asleep all I did was literally unzip her PJs let her stomach breathe and she knocked out I just curl my lashes I used to skip this step I thought it was redundant well, let me just tell you it's not a little mascara moment little tip not only do you want to put it on the bottom of the lashes but you also want to coat the top and the wiggle so this is how I do my current wing okay so I take this brush it's a spoolie and then the brow brush on the other end and I take brown liner and I just flick a little line you can do this with eyeshadow too but I find that the liner just like looks better more of a moment and all I do is that little flick I just draw the line then I kind of like smoke it out okay this is my favorite part recently I've been loving this one by pixie it's called the endless silky eye pen it's in the shade brightening lilac but I like to just run this on the bottom lash line it just makes the eyes pop I don't have time for eyeshadow I just don't do it but this makes up for it all right we are almost done I'm gonna highlight I just take a little bit this is a ColourPop super shock shadow it's meant for eyeshadow but I just put a little bit down the bridge of the nose, on the nose, Cupid's bow. And then we do an inner corner moment too sometimes. And the last step, we're gonna like actually look like we have some lips. We're using the KKW today. And I just line. I don't really overline them too much, especially in the top. Kind of just follow right on the outside of my natural lip line. That is our, it usually takes me 10 minutes when I'm not talking. Mom makeup routine okay we need to pick out an outfit do we want to do like a little tank top leggings moment or do we want to do a cute dress a romper shorts moment what do we want joe big head in there he's so cute we'll put a little t-shirt underneath for hair i just do a little detangle spray her down use this little brush and she has like barely any hair she's pretty bald but the back her little rat's tail look at her little mullet rat tail this will get little tangles in it so I just brush it. So cute. Should we do some Converse or should we do sandals? <laughs> all right, we're gonna do your nails real quick, okay? Thank you. So it has all these different little heads. Put the head on the top, turn her on. Even has a light so it's like easy to see. And then you just shave them down. It doesn't hurt at all. Like literally, I'll do it on my face. It doesn't hurt at all. What is that? You get your little manicure. Yeah. It's so pretty, baby. Okay. All done. All done. Should we put a little t-shirt underneath? <gasps> Look at my cute girly. <laughs> Who said you're allowed to be that cute? <gasps> How did I make this? I really don't get it. I really don't get it. I have the cutest daughter. We're gonna wear this really cute orange colored shirt. Hello Target. Hello six dollars. We're just gonna do a tank and jeans moment. And there we go. That is it. That's the look. Hair, makeup, and then our fit. Guys, we keep it casual. I don't do the most. 
if I'm like on vacation or I have an event to go to that I will show out. But if I'm just doing my day to day thing, catch me in a tank, catch me in jeans, catch me in sneaks. And that's about it. Again, huge shout out to The Beach Waver for sponsoring this video. You guys can shop them at thebeachwaver.co. And again, use my code CARESSA20 to save some money. Just a reminder, if you want to look like you just left the salon, say, we love you. Times a milly, milly, trilly. See you in the next video. See you in the next video. Bye.